welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia and in today's video turn off my turn signal in today's video i am getting ready to go on my first out of country vacation i am going to the dominican republic with my family with my family and basically we're celebrating my cousin's 30th birthday and i'm very excited not only to be celebrating her but also just to hang out with my family and this is going to be a first fresh experience for me so i'm excited and i'm vlogging all of it i'm documenting all of it just so i can have it uh y'all know how i roll but I'm very excited. So as y'all know, with planning anything, any trip, you kind of have to go off of a checklist. You have certain things that you have to knock out and do before you go. So everything can just be, you know, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to pop up my checklist. And as you can see, the first thing on my checklist has been done already. Y'all, I feel so good to have my hair back. Just being able to do that all day just feels so good. And I went to my girl Nadine's again. Another great experience. In and out, two and a half hours. So I'm really, really thankful about that. Yeah, now, sorry, my car sounds a little wonky. Now I'm on my way to a wax appointment because, yeah, I got to get that done. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to look slick. You hear me? Like, very, very slick. And I'm a little nervous because I feel like I should have left a little earlier. I feel like I'm about to, I don't know what, what's going on up there, but I think I'm about to take this detour real quick because I don't got time. I don't got time. Yeah, I'm just really excited. And we, like I said, I got my hair done and I'm about to go to my wax appointment. So you guys are coming with me on this checklist journey. one thing that's staying in my head like rent free like i say it to myself like literally probably like five times a day is that lady in the store and she's like yes i say it to myself <laughs> literally every day <laughs> so dumb but welcome back you guys i have been super busy ripping and running over the past few days again this free travel prep is not for the week i am a checklist checklist i'm a checklist checklist queen so i've been knocking all this stuff out as you guys already saw i had my wax my petty my manny all of that is done um now i'm in that stage of packing and you guys remember i did a video i'm um, just kind of like bringing in the new year sort of kind of and i said that i wanted to do a fupa update not really a fupa update i wanted something a device that was going to control my fupa i'm just pushing it out right now <clears throat> but um yeah i needed something that kind of like suck me in and kind of Make it cute, you know? So I have two devices. So here's my segment, FUPA control. So I went on Amazon and y'all, when I say I researched hard, now this was short notice because, you know, for some reason I just started doing stuff last minute. I have other, I guess, FUPA control, what's shapewear? I have other shape. I don't know why it's taking me so long to say shapewear. I have other shapewears that I was looking at, but I was just too afraid that they weren't going to come anytime. So I went to Amazon. And when I say I was reading through these reviews, like trying to find the right one for my size, my, like, you know, my vision, I wanted to cinch me. And so it's a difference between sucking in the tummy and cinching versus just sucking in the tummy so i got two from the same brand one is for short torsos which is my life what is that short torso girly and i got one that's like a traditional one it's for the longer torsos i'm hoping that one of these are going to work and here is 
the real test. If these joints don't look good with the dresses that I have, number one, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown because I literally leave in like a day or so. Number two, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown because I'm leaving soon. And I these are my formal wear outfits and I feel like the way these dresses look is not gonna be cute if I'm three months. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. It's just not gonna be the vibe that I'm going for. This type of stuff makes me nervous. This is why I don't like shopping in the stores because I literally sit in that mirror like. <laughs> it really just, it destroys my day. So I'm really nervous. I got my mirror here. I'm about to go try these on. I am gonna try these on with the dresses. Like I said, I wanna see how they look. All right, so you guys, this is the first dress with the first cinched corset. This is actually the longer torso. I thought this was the shorter torso. And y'all, it's not painful, but how does that look? Now, this is gonna be tighter. I don't know if you guys are getting the full thing. Now, I'm not a fan of hips. I'm still trying to walk in my self-love, you know, path. But um, I feel like this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to do a little bit of like, you know, this is, has to be tighter. I mean, it's a way to tight it in the back. Um, I'm still not 100% happy with how this is sucking me in. Um, but I, I feel like this isn't bad. This is a good first start. So y'all putting this thing on, I, I was like, I feel like my spleen is about to explode. <laughs> it was just like, <clears throat> but I feel definitely contained. Next dress. So, second dress. Again, this is the longer torso shapewear. Um, I'm not 100% sold on the dress. This is a lot of leg for Auntie AZ, okay? I'm not, this is a new era for me, um, but I'm kind of digging it to a certain extent. I feel like I can make it work. Um, how does that look? And then on top of that, like, is my butt cheek just gonna be out all night? Beautiful liar. That's what it feels like. Beyonce, Beyonce, Shakira, Shakira. I'm kind of vibing with it. It's not like I'm gonna be, you know, dropping it like it's hot in this joint, but I'm kind of vibing with it. I mean, at least for picture, you know, when I need to get my picture, I feel like this is gonna be cute for my picture. It doesn't hurt. It just feels like if I'm like using this, it's restricting that because that's what it's supposed to do. So I just feel like, <laughs> like I gotta take, you know, stronger breaths to breathe. But I'm kind of vibing with it. When I saw this part, it was like, it's definitely giving scream. So now I'm gonna put on the other corset, the shorter torso corset, and we're gonna see if Auntie Aze likes it. <laughs> so I know before I go and put on the other one, one thing I don't like, this is kind of a thin material dress and it is what it is. Again, far away, it does what it needs to do. But when you get up close to it, you see like the ridges of the shapewear and that's not what I'm going for either. Um, minor, but duly noted. So second corset off the rip, first impression. I don't like this as much because I feel like it's forcing me to have a smaller torso versus just stretching me out. I feel like the longer one stretched me out. And you know, I kind of like that a little bit better. I'm not saying this looks bad, but this reminds me that I have a short torso. It doesn't give me that, like that, that illusion, I guess you can say. It doesn't look bad, side check. It doesn't look bad, but it's still not every, ooh. Maybe that's why it doesn't look that good. Also, I feel like because it's shorter, it's giving me like this little gap space in here and it looks like I have something on and I don't like that either. Like the other one kind of went into my bra and I kind of prefer that look a little bit more. Um, putting this one on also almost took me out. This one was a little bit harder to put on the other one. I don't know why, but my thumbs are a little bit, you know, a little bit more frustrated with me at the moment. Again, I feel like when you're putting yourself in something that's not like naturally comfortable, you automatically kind of, I don't know about y'all anxiety, but my anxiety starts to kick in. So um, this one was a little bit harder to put on. Same thing with the other one. You kind of see it from the dress, but again, both dresses are very thin materials. So that is a very minor note on my end. This is doing what it needs to do, but 
feel like I just like the look of the other one better. For real, for real. I keep rubbing this. Let me stop for a forecast something, but um, it's okay. I mean, I'm not obsessed with it. This corset, but or shapewear, like I keep saying, two different things. But it'll do. It'll do. Let's try the other dress. Yeah, off the rip hard pass on the short torso shapewear for this dress. I mean, again, far away doesn't look bad, but literally I'm looking in the mirror and it looks like I have the armor of the Lord around my like belly area. It's like a, a strong distinction between where my bra stops and then where the shapewear begins. And it's just not the look that I'm going for. It literally looks like I was just like, bulletproof guys. On my stomach, that's it. Like. I feel like it's still sucking me in. I just don't like that look of it just being, like literally you could feel the space between the shapewear and the bra. Maybe if I pull it up, would that look better? Ooh, please don't rip this dress. Please don't rip this dress. I guess it kind of looks better when you pull it up, but I'm still not feeling it for this dress. This is definitely a hard no for this dress. I think that, I like how it's coming in. My main thing, I just want it to come in. Like I, just, I wanna have that. Am I ever gonna have that in my life? Am I ever gonna be that girl? I'm looking at myself in the camera. Yeah, definitely not probably gonna wear this corset. I mean, this shapewear with this dress per se. I'm still sold on the dress though, I still like it. Um, and it gets stronger. Uh, and with heels, I think it's gonna look even better. Fupa control. So I'm going to try my best to pack as much as I can tonight. It's certain things that are gonna be a little bit like very, very last minute um, because I still need it um, out. But I'm gonna try to get at least most of my outfits packed away. Y'all, this is my first flight. I should know the rules, but I think this is my first, this is my first long trip where every day is kind of like an outfit like I have an outfit plan for every day multiple outfits plan for every day and so this has to be less than 50 they said good rule of thumb is to make it 40 you know just to be on the safe side and if it's not 50 pounds I have to pay an extra $200 to get it you know on the plane so I this trip I've been procrastinating like it has been so crazy how long i should have had this stuff done days ago but living like larry over here but um yeah i'm just gonna hurry up and try to fit a lot of this stuff okay what's going on but i'm gonna do my best to try to pack as much as i can tonight and then uh we'll see so I thought it would be fun to have like a little chit chat just to let you guys know the headspace that I'm in right now. Y'all know I am a worry wart. My first stress dream about this um, trip happened last night or maybe a few nights ago, I can't remember. But basically, um, we were meeting at my cousin's house to get ready for, to go to the airport, which is not even the plan for us to all get to the airport. But we were meeting at my cousin's house to get to the airport and I forgot my passport. And like, literally, y'all know those dreams where you feel the emotions of like, <laughs> basically, I forgot my freaking passport, gotta go back to it. And I think the stress of it woke me up. I can't remember like the next step of that dream, but it's just stuff like that where I'm just like, <sighs> all right duly noted make sure my passport is already locked in ready to go and again i don't know why i'm nervous because i'm traveling with a group so i feel like you know we all got each other's back it's all my family and stuff so we shouldn't it's not like you know i should be super nervous about anything but at the same time these are so cute these are my swim shoes glad these fit yeah i don't know why i'm so nervous it's funny because a few weeks ago i want to say I was talking to my cousin she was like are you excited and i was like i'm nervous and she was like about what and for me definitely now is definitely way more 
excitement that has taken place um, versus the nerves. But I think I just get nervous about the logistics. I get nervous about, okay, where do we need to be? What do I need to have? And just the thought of being in another country like sounds kind of surreal. And I feel like I'm making a big deal out of it. Everybody probably like, no, calm down. But it kind of goes back to, I talked about this in a video years ago. It's just certain things as a child that I just never thought I was gonna be able to do. I never, it was never on my list to do. I wasn't that kid that was like, I wanna go here, here, here. Because number one, I probably thought it was too expensive. And number two, I just it just wasn't in my realm, I guess you could say. So now that I'm in this moment, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like it's happening. And I'm, again, I'm making a bigger deal out of it. But when I think about certain uh, things, first time experiences, I kind of get in my head about it. And um, I guess it's kind of cool too, because you want to keep that excitement about certain experiences. You, you, I don't want to be, you know, kind of like careless about that. Like it's an accomplishment. I'm paying for it on my own. Like I work hard, you know, I do my best to kind of make ends meet. And so being able to kind of coordinate this, well, I shouldn't say coordinate this, but like being able to afford this and do this, I'm very proud of myself, I guess you could say. I'm excited. Like it goes back to my other video. I just want to eat, sleep and travel. Like that's all I want to do. And I feel like this is, this is exactly the direction I've been trying to go into. I'm also very excited to get this content. Like um, whenever you do a new experience, like this is just for like my advice to content creators. Whenever you do like a new, like, you know, just something new, you're vlogging something, do your best to maximize the content that you get. Even if you just get one video, YouTube video, make sure you get like three, four reels out of that joint because if you have the bandwidth, again, I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Um, I know it, this is a full-time job for um, but just to maximize your time, maximize your content, just make sure you spread it out. That's why this is going to be one video and the vlog in the actual country is going to be another video. I don't know what that video is going to look like but i'm definitely documenting you know a good amount of stuff to the best of my ability because i need the content i need the content but yeah maximize maximize your content so i'm really excited to kind of get all of that stuff out for you guys and i'm excited i i really am i i don't know if you guys can feel the excitement i'm nervous of course but i think that the nerves are getting suppressed by the excitement so yeah i'm gonna try my best to hurry up and do this because it's kind of late and i'm ready to go to bed um y'all pray for me about this this suitcase 50 pounds yeah all right y'all the moment of truth 20 pounds baby so i'm at 20 pounds so i'm at oh lighting so i'm at oof. Oof. So I'm at 20 pounds and my suitcase isn't all the way full. I'm a little nervous because once you add the makeup, my toiletries, I don't know, but we still got 20 pounds to go. So I think I might be good. Hello, y'all. Another thing on my checklist that I want to make sure that I knock out is cleaning up my house and dang that looks really junky and messy over there but yeah i want to clean up my house and i want to wash my clothes when i come back i want to come to a nice fresh clean house and i don't want to have too much to do outside of unpacking like i don't want to think about oh i gotta take out the trash i gotta do this i just want to have you know a nice smelly not smelly smelly good good smelling good smelling home to come to and it will just allow me to kind of like get back in that mode. So I'm about to separate my clothes, put those in the washer, and then I'm going to start cleaning my house. So.
that's gonna be a, the best angle, but I gotta kinda hurry up. Um, my Uber's on its way, y'all, and we are finally here. <sighs> the day has come where I'm leaving America. Um, but seriously, um, I'm a little um, antsy because there's just a lot to do. Um, there was a lot to do. Obviously, most of it's done now, but um, it was just, it's a lot, it was a lot. And I thought it was a good idea to go to a concert the night before my travel. So, you know, some of my, you know, last minute things were very, very rushed. So that doesn't put me, that doesn't make me feel 100% good, but you know, we're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it work. I got back home around like midnight, maybe a little after midnight. And you know, just trying to knock out certain things and put, get certain things in order, last minute stuff again. Like I said, <coughs> uh, I ended up going to bed around like 1.30, a little after 1.30. And that was, I'm pretty much running on fumes at the moment. Um, it's something that I didn't get to, that I wanted to do before I got to the airport. But God's got me. Um, I've been praying mad hard since the countdown began about this trip, you know, just for our safety and, you know, making sure that we are, you know, out of harm's way but also logistically i've been like lord please just let everything come together you know try not to think about the what ifs the negative what ifs um but it's all good because this is going to be an amazing trip um <laughs> my cousin just texted me you good y'all when i tell y'all i had like 20 alarms planned like auntie wasn't playing like i was making sure that one of these alarms were gonna wake me up i'm so short y'all i'm good we're about to head on out They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.